Hey everyone, and welcome to another video. Um, I'm back on Windows this time, because I've actually got something really cool to show you guys. Well, it's not going to be visual, unfortunately. Well, sort of, it's going to be a little bit visual. But, um, I'm going to start with the actual cool part first. Um, so the other day, I just got an Alcatel A30 Android tablet. Um, it's the LTE model, but I'm using it with Wi-Fi for now. Along with that, I got a little um, stand for it that can clamp to, well, my desk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. It is clamped to my desk. Um, and I've got it sitting flush right in front of me above my keyboard. Along with that, I've got it hooked up through USB to my computer with USB debugging enabled so I can develop Android apps. Cool. Well, that got me thinking. Tablets and most phones have headphone hacks on them. Now, I don't really use these headphone hacks for really anything because I'm a Bluetooth guy. I'm a wireless guy. I hate cables. They get tangled. They are a little more frat hell, um, and I just, I don't like them. But, this tablet is clamped to my desk. It's not really moving much, except for the occasional times when I want to watch YouTube in bed or something. Um, so, since it's staying in one spot, cables aren't really a problem for me. Of course, it's hooked up through USB debugging. So, that got me thinking. Since I do everything with Bluetooth, and wirelessly, what could I use that 3.5mm headphone jack on this headset, or on this tablet for? And what could I use one of those 3.5mm um, auxiliary cables that you would use to hook up speakers or whatnot with? Well, turns out that m most... Windows computers, or most computers actually, have a microphone input, or rather a line in a line in hack in this case. If we go into sound settings, sound control panel, and we go recording. If you have a sound, uh, if you have an sound card anything like mine, which is built into my motherboard, um, you will um, have a few devices. You'll have, your, you, you, you'll have any USB microphones that you've got hooked up. For example, my Logitech wireless headset here, and my USB advanced audio, which is my Blue Snowball that is not active right now in OBS, I don't think, but it is still recording. Um, and we have stereo mix, and we have uh, our microphone input. But we have something else that's most likely disabled on your system. I don't know. But it's a line-in input for real tech high-definition audio. Well, what does this do? Well, first of all, it's ready. Um, and that's because there's something plugged into it. But what's plugged into it? Well, take a listen. Okay, Google. What's the weather like? Right now in Cornwall, it's 11 degrees and cloudy. The forecast tonight is 9 and cloudy. Did you see that line in? As Google Assistant was talking, the line in meter was actually, it, it was showing activity, meaning that audio was going through it. And as you can probably tell, audio was going through it because you heard Google Assistant. Well, if you have a 3.5mm headphone jack and the cable to do it, which they're not hard to find, give this a try. Hook up your tablet to the line-in jack on your computer. Android will, will handle it automatically. And then in Windows, what you want to do is you want to go back to that, scroll, uh, that um, control panel, so sound control panel. Um, and we'll go recording, 
and double click the line in. I, I suppose you could use the microphone input if you don't have a line in, but I'm using the line in just because I have it. Um, but then go over to listen, um, and then heck, li listen to this device. Um, this will make Windows um, output the audio going through this uh, audio input through your actual speaker, so you'll hear it. Um, the whole point of this is that you can hear your tablet's audio through your computer. Um, so I have it set up to, uh, by default, it is set to um, default playback device, but I had an issue earlier today when I was setting it up where um, it was outputting through my uh, main speakers even when my headset was plugged in. So I set it to explicitly output to Logitech wireless headset. You might have to do that if that happens to you. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you can set which device it outputs to. Um, but you want to check it, you want to check this, listen to this device. If you're on a laptop, you might want to disable this on battery. Um, but I'm on a desktop, of course, dual monitors and everything like that. So, um, battery is not an issue. Um, same with the tablet. It's plugged in hard hang as it's debugging. Uh, but yeah, you don't need root or anything like this because, um, or for your Android device, because it is literally just it's going to see it as if you're plugging in a headset or a speaker, so it's not going to care. Um, but yeah, it works very well. In fact, um, let me demo just how useful this is. Um, so I'm going to throw on a good buddy of mine. Uh, you may know him. Um, he was very famous a few years ago, and still kind of is. Um, OS first timer. Let's throw on an OS first timer video. Anyone will do. Um, Mom tries out. Uh, cool. We'll go with an Android device. In this episode of OS first timer, Dino is going to be unboxing and testing out the Oppo AX5, which can. Uh, and then let's say we're listening to this, and I want to look up um, something on Google Assistant while I watch the video. Maybe there's something I'm not sure about. Okay, Google. What is the Oppo AX5? According to Finder, the Oppo AX5 is an Android 8.1 phone, but you might not pick that right away. Keep watching to find out. So yeah, um, you can actually hear the. Um, output of your Android tablet through your computer while your computer is playing audio. Um, now, it might not be super desirable if you're watching an OS first-timer video and then all of a sudden trigger Google Assistant like that because you'll hear two voices at once. But a better example of this um, oops, um, would actually be... Um, let's throw on some Anders Hansen. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to... Um, I might be able to. Um, I don't. I, I think he'll allow me. Um, Anders Anger Hansen, um, Troubled Hearts. It's probably gonna pop up. Yep, PeaceNet. Uh, that's great. Um, very old video. Um, I'm just gonna throw this out there, right there, or right here. There have been some people commenting on this video, saying or congratulating me on it. Don't do that. It is very clearly made by Anders Hansen. If you want to congratulate someone for how good the song sounds, congr congratulate him and send some money his way. Because his music is freaking amazing and he did not have to allow me to use it for free. Um, I, I, I would have paid him if I had the money. Um, so, yeah. Um, Really cool guy. So yeah, um, don't be congratulating me for this video existing and for that song existing because I didn't make it. I just said this is PeaceNet soundtrack because it will be. But anyway, let's put this on. All right. So so then 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 let's say maybe I'm inside Visual Studio doing some programming. Um, uh, 
ignore this Bitphoenix start Android thingy. I was testing things out with a tablet, but I need an SD card in it before I can do that. Uh, maybe I'm developing PCenet. Um, Alright, waiting for it to load. Um, and then, okay, let's say I'm developing Peace Engine and I'm not really sure what static means in C-sharp. Okay, Google, what does static mean in C-sharp? According to Techopedia, Static, in C-sharp, is a keyword that can be used to declare a member of a type so that it is specific to that type. The static modifier can be used with a class, field, method, property, operator, event or constructor. So yeah, voice activated programming documentation, while you're listening to programming music. Isn't that cool? And, let's say, you don't want to be using YouTube on your computer because it's a little annoying having that open um maybe you're playing a game and you want to listen to some music while you play that game on your computer and you don't want something like spotify or even chrome because chrome is a ram hog taking up precious resources on your computer well because your tablet is broadcasting audio through your computer okay google Play Anders Hansen Troubled Hearts on YouTube. Sure, nobody knows the trouble I've seen by Marian Anderson. Okay, on YouTube. that's not something I want. No, 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 no. But you get the point. You get the point. If I weren't, if I weren't bound by the fact that I could get copyright strike for using the wrong music, you would understand what I mean. But yeah, you can hear me also navigating the tablet, so maybe if I don't want to do it voice activated the tablet is right in front of me it's very easy to see um it, you guys can't see it because i don't have a webcam or anything but um it is it's like using a center console in a car um so um maybe i want to um throw on some more OS first timer on the tablet while i play a game or a program or something um so there's that, I believe it's the same video, um... Alright, an advertisement. Rakuten! Free advertising, but anyway. Uh, another free advertisement. Alright, we've got a real oh, animal lover here. Wait. Bing starts at one dollar for a click. One. It used the old YouTube layout. Okay, it's because my tablet is in... It's native resolution. Let's try this again. No, I don't want to copyright strike. So here we are, we've got Dad's old phone here, which is the Samsung Galaxy S5. So yeah. And the next phone here is my phone. Now you're watching an OS first time Plus, video on your tablet, broadcasted through your computer's to the audio. AX5, it's amazing. Which is basically a phone that really focuses on strong battery life. I've never heard of an Anyway. That'll basically do it. So it's not hard to set up. It's very cool. Um, if you have a stand, it's very neat as well to have it sitting flush on your desk as if it's like part of your computer setup. And then of course, if I want to, I can unplug it and take it on the go and stuff like that. But for, for the most part, it's gonna sit on my desk as a little bit of a center console for my programming environment. So Mr. Alcatelli30, Welcome to the development environment. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even though it, you couldn't really see what was going on the tablet screen, there might be a way. Uh, maybe not with you without USB-C, but there might be a way for me to actually show the screen on the tablet inside OBS. That would be pretty cool for like an Android app development stream or something. Um, I'll look into it, but yeah. Anyway, I've been Michael, um, Alkaline Thunder, or whatever you want to call me. I'm not sure what channel I'm uploading this to, whether it'll be BitPhoenix or my personal one, so, 
Um, either or. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.